Hi there, welcome to Blue Tone HQ. Uh, thank you for coming back to my channel. Um, I just wanted to share with you something that um, I, I wasn't aware of, not that I, I'm a particular expert, but um, I, with my Epiphone Swingster, 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 sorry, as you know, I trouble with that, I've got trouble with that word. Um, I was tinkering with it um, yesterday and just trying to get to know how to sort of dial in the tones. Um, I'm used to a two knob layout on an electric guitar, volume and tone, that's all I need. Whereas the um, Swingster has four. Let me show you. So you'll see there we've got um, two volume pots and two tone pots. Now, I noticed a very strange thing yesterday. Now it turns out that this thing is not strange and that it's standard on Gibson and Epiphones. But I wasn't aware of this and I just want to show you this okay so so with any kind of like um, Gibson style guitar you'll notice that you've got your your four pots here two volumes two tones now on here obviously um, this volume pot is going to be for this pickup um, and the other volume pot is going to be for the bridge pickup. Now, it's also got a pickup selector switch and it's in the middle position. So if I put this into the um, neck position and I strum it, you can hear the tone, right? And if I turn down the volume pot and turn it back up again, you can see how it's controlling it. Right. So then I switch it into the the bridge position and you'll see I've got the volume pot here. You can hear a different tone because of a different pickup. And you can hear how it controls the volume. Great. So the logic here then is that one volume pot controls one of the pickups, the other volume pot controls the other one. So in theory then, if I go to the middle position, I should have some kind of control over the tone by playing with the volume knobs. So that's, that's a nice way of affecting tone. Um, Now watch this. So both volume pots are on maximum. If I turn down the neck pickup, you can hear that it becomes more top end with the the higher volume coming from the bridge pickup. And I keep turning it down and I'm down to about one ish, and mostly you're hearing the bridge pickup. I am adjusting the volume pot for the neck pickup. So now the neck pickup is set to zero, but the bridge pickup is still set to 10, but I'm hearing nothing. If I turn it back up, the signal comes back. But let's do it the other way. Let's take the, the bridge volume pot and turn that down slightly. So I'm here with a change in tone. Oh, it's cut out the signal. So both pickups are selected, but both volume pots have some kind of influence on the other pick pickup. Even though, in this case now, the net pickup is at 10 the volume pot on the on the um, bridge pickup is cutting out the signal so I've got myself a little kill switch so did you know about that 
I didn't. Um, I'm not a Gibson or Epiphone um, expert by any means. Um, I did have an Epiphone 335 Dot, um, which had the same controls, but I never, never experienced that because I don't think I looked that closely. But it would appear that um, this is something that's standard across Gibson and Epiphone um, guitars with that setup with the knobs, and. Um, it's it's something that is is well known and and it is possible to change it with a good luthier who knows how to play with the electrics. But um, some guitarists like that. Um, the only benefit I can see is that I've got a handy kill switch, I guess, for for the whole guitar, um, which I didn't think I I had. So if I want to just turn the volume down on both pickups. Um, then I, I can do that um, at the same time. So I wonder what your thoughts are. Did, were you aware of this? How do you use that feature? Why do you think that feature is even there in the first place um, in, in terms of function? Uh, what are your thoughts? Please put a comment on my video below. Um, but for now, please like and subscribe if you like the content I'm putting out there. And um, if you want to know more about me and, and the music stuff that I'm doing and see some other articles, then go to www.bluetonemusic.com. Bye for now.